Thank you. Alex, well, let's start off by just talking about Granger and Worrell and what you do. Thank you. Uh, so Granger and Worrell, we're a family-owned business. Um, we've been coming to the show since the beginning. The uh, business itself is now 70 years old. So um, started in the tooling industry and we've evolved into casting and machining for all high performance race series. And what can we expect in 2019? It's a good question. Um, the developments for us tend to be around the materials themselves, um, the process that we can offer to validate the material and then the ultimate performance quality. So we are constantly looking into the evolvement of the alloys. Um, we have 3D technology to help develop the complexity of the design. Um, which allows our customers some freedom to optimise their design to get the optimum output of the parts. So what new technologies will Granger and Worrell be pioneering in the coming years? I think there's an obvious technology out there emerging in the market of additive manufacturing. Um, currently we've taken the concept of 3D printing within our sand cores, um, but really AM in uh, metal sintering is now seems to be taking hold, um, developing. It's a technology we've stayed close to now for some time and really haven't bought into the technology ourselves directly because we haven't seen the right solution. However, we now feel very close to taking this technology and applying it at Granger Moral directly to take motorsport products forward. Where can we see your products racing in 2019? <laughs> well, we can talk about the divisions but not the customers themselves. Um, You'll see on the F1 grid, we support quite a lot of the components there. Uh, MotoGP, WRC, Le Mans Racing. We support some race series over the sea in America. Um, so pretty much globally, we're involved in most of the race series that you see. So this is high-end stuff, right at the very top? Absolutely, we're at the pinnacle of engineering. Um, that in turn challenges our process. We are constantly driven to deliver more and um, Customers ask us for solutions that aren't yet available and we say yes and we take that away and find the solution. You said you, this, you've been coming to this event since it started 13 years ago. What is it that keeps you coming back? The, the event is quite central to um, a lot of our export market in the EU. Um, we often see guys come in from overseas as well as far as Japan, China, America and for some reason this show tends to draw real quality. So for that reason, we use it as a great central point to reconvene with customers, both existing and we've had good new leads from the show as well.